Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we're looking at another Jin Hao pen. Jin Hao been really smashing out of the park in the last sort of 12 months with the release of a number of really lovely pens. The, the Jin Hao 80, which is the somewhat copy of the Lamy 2000, the Jin Hao uh, X 350 and 850, which are the development of their 450 and 750 models in a lot of people's minds. And then uh, this pen, which is the Jin Hao 82, which is modeled off a sailor. I'll, I will say that straight up. Like, I'm not saying it's a copy, but I'm definitely saying it is modeled off the sale. This is the Pro Gear Slim. Um, dimensions, general design, all that kind of stuff. Like, yes, there's, it's hard to reinvent the wheel, um, but there is a lot going on here that is very, very similar to the Sailor. So I'm going to talk about the parts and features of this pen. I'm going to do a writing sample, pros and cons, and all of that kind of stuff. Starting at the top. Flat top and flat bottom, very similar to the Sailor. The cap swells to the, the clip band there, and then swells out to the center band, which uh, is sort of like three layered band with um, Jin Hao laser engraved on it there. Uh, then the body tapers down to another ring, and then that, yeah, that flat finial there. The cap screws off in about one and three quarter turns, um, so not too bad. And the threads are, are nice. This is a simple injection molded pen. It's very affordable. Jin Hao is a Chinese brand that make incredibly affordable pens sold on places like eBay. So that's what you can expect. There's no fancy packaging. There's no, you know, nothing like that. There's a good range of colors and things, but it is a fairly sort of basic pen, but it all works nice in those, as I said, those threads are quite nice indeed. Little uh, smooth threads there, not, not sharp under the fingers, little silver band, simple section that has a tiny little flare on the end, and then the little Jin Hao, I think it's the number four sort of size nib, which is branded Jin Hao there with an F for fine. Plastic feed. It is a cartridge converter pen, and it comes with a converter, which um, is great. This is the standard sort of Jin Hao one, as you can see there, Jin Hao. It does everything it should do. It screws down nicely on an O-ring there. Um, I'll show you that. So there's like a little O-ring just there at the end of the threads, and it screws down onto there, making it very, very secure. It's a simple, clean, elegant pen. The clip is stiff, but works. And that's the parts and features. Like it is a simple, as I said, simple pen, but it does everything it should do. The pen does post and it posts nice and securely, um, nice and deep as well, which I, I, it's one of those things I like about, you know, the Sailor um, Pro Gear Slim and Pro Gear. Uh, that it posted, it actually becomes a very, very comfortable pen in the hand because unposted, it's probably a little too small for most people. Um, it is a smaller pen, which we'll see when we see the size comparison in just a minute. Um, but if you look at, yeah, the Sailor uh, Pro Gear Slim and the, of course, the standard Pro Gear, uh, which it's the smaller uh, brother of, um, they have a very similar profile and they post nicely and they become good sized pens in the hand. So let's now do the size comparison. I'll put it alongside the uh, Pro Gear Slim and the standard Lamy Safari. You can see it is a smaller pen. It is a it is just about exactly bang on the same size as the Sailor, um, with the cap length being the same and the a similar sort of three band with it. The Sailor has the extra ring, of course, um, and a slightly different clip, but a lot of the features are very, very similar. Unposted, the Sailor and the Jin Hao come in roughly, once again, the same sort of length. The Lamy, of course, is much bigger. It is a full-sized pen. Um, you just notice the difference here, whereas the Sailor has a slightly shorter section, but a slightly longer nib. Um, and that is what sort of sets the size sort of apart. But when you level those out, they end up coming in pretty, pretty close. And then posted, you see uh, the, they're once again, similar sort of length. It's like a, the Sailor is a couple of millimeters longer, uh, but they become a decent sort of size pen. And this is probably how you would write with the Jin Hao 82 uh, is with the, you know, it posted, it's a much more comfortable pen. So what are the dimensions? Well, it is 124 millimeters when it is capped, so small. 111 when it is uncapped, quite small. Posted, it's 141, which becomes very comfortable. Just for uh, you know, sake of comparison, the the Sailor Pro Gear Slim is 144, so three three millimeters shorter than the Sailor, um, and but it's nice. It's a very comfortable pen in the hand. Those threads are smooth. Um, it has a good size. It's a simple, nice weight. The pen only weighs 19.5 grams, 11.5 in the body and eight in the cap. You definitely don't feel it back weighted because so much of that cap is sitting on the webbing of your hand. The balance is good. It's a nice, solid little pen in the hand. Let's do a writing sample now, shall we? So we have the Jin Hao 82 with a steel 
Jinhao fine nib and the ink in this is good old Waterman Serenity Blue. Great everyday ink, great ink just to sort of see how a pen, you know, really performs. Um, because uh, we know this ink, we know, so yeah, it, it, uh, it's reliable. Okay, writing sample. Okay, there's a tiny bit of feedback. If I'm gonna say, if I'm gonna be honest, there is a tiny bit of feedback. You can hear that on the page, but really, for a pen at this price point, it writes very, very well. Very well indeed. You know, it keeps up. There's no hard starts. It's a stiff nib. Like, Jinhao nibs are not flex nibs. Uh, reverse writing is actually pretty good. Um, I rarely test that before I do these videos because, you know, like, I don't do it. Um, but it does work. Um, and, you know, it's actually writing... I wouldn't say it's wet, but it's definitely not a dry writer. It's very comfortable. It's a nice, simple writing pen, you know? Like, I've never had hard starts with it. I've never... I haven't had any ink starvation. I've done quite a bit of writing with this and it has always kept up. It's just a very nice, simple writing pen. And as I said, at this price point, like it does a lot better than a lot of pens that are far more expensive, particularly straight out of the box. They write like this and that's great. Okay, let's talk some pros and cons. Cons. It is very clearly heavily inspired by the Sailor Pro Gear Slim, to the point that you can actually use the cap from the Jinhao on the Sailor. That's how closely these pens are aligned, like in terms of the dimensions and everything down to the threads and all of that. So very clearly, this is not a particularly original design from Jinhao. It's too close for a coincidence, let's be real. Okay. But in the terms of the pros, it's Sailor's design and it's a great design. It's beautiful. It's very simple and clean and it does everything it should do. I really like the nib. You saw in the writing sample, it's smooth. It does, it's consistent. It's relatively wet. It does everything it should do. It's nice. The balance of the pen in the hand, you know, like the way it posts. Once again, congratulations to Sailor. But, um, you know, like it works. It's, it's great. I love the fact that there are quite a few color options available. Um, you know, and I, I, I love the price point. This pen in Australia from places like eBay retails from between 10 and $13. Now, this pen, the Sailor, retails around the $200 mark. Now, you're not getting the same build quality. You can feel the difference. Like the finishing is just not quite the same. And you know, like the threads are nice, but there's a little bit of slackness in the end there. And you know, it's it's just a steel nib as opposed to the 14 karat gold nib on the Sailor. But this is a great nib. It writes beautifully. The pen is comfortable. It comes with a converter, it wrote out of the box. Like lots and lots in this pen's favor. And I really enjoy that. So this was the Jinhao 82 um, and uh, an interesting pen. So thank you for watching, like and subscribe, all that stuff. Get in touch if you'd like to support the channel. Um, and uh, yeah, if you've got products you think I should be looking at, let me know. I'd love to know what uh, you guys are seeing out there in case I'm missing anything. So thank you for watching. Enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.